All right, here we go. Labyrinth of the Ancient. Let's uh, do our side by side. Hey guys, welcome back to the sanctuary. Final Fantasy XIV: A Realm Reborn, and uh, our little trip down memory lane. Grizzly X here. Uh, we are currently about to do Labyrinth of the Ancients. Let's see how quickly we can get through this. What alliance are we on? Alliance A? What were we on last? Oh, we, we're on Alliance A again. Oh my God. Labyrinth has really changed that much in the 10 years since. Even with my weak ass, power creep is still a thing. And that's two. Just goes to show, like, even now at the, what are we at? The 1721 mark, or 117 mark, and we're still just wrecking everything. Like I said, power creep is seriously a thing. All right, our first boss. Just a little bit past the 117 mark and we're at the bone dragon. Everyone's insanely o more overpowered than I am, so... Eh, 
Eh, this is gonna hurt. And that is our first boss. Probably not gonna get any loot out of this. I remember when we used to have a loot limit once a week for every... Once a week, every time a new Alliance raid came out. I remember the first time I did this as Monk. Literally, it was such a fucking drag. Because I... I derped and rolled on gear that I didn't need in the first place. And I ended up getting it. some people oh uh, yeah because some of their members are on our side oh well, we might as well sit and wait and see how this goes see if uh past cruising it can catch up a little bit right now we are at the 111 minute mark and we okay we finally got it to start studying that. Uh, 
Okay, that takes care of him. And I'm dead. I wondered how long it was going to take for them to notice. Now for the fun to begin. There are stairs and yet we don't use them because we just jump over the edge. Not like uh, fall damage in this game is a thing. Not like fall damage in dungeons is a thing anymore, so. It is about to get really fun. way over there healing Like seriously, Surf Loop Surf Fruit Loops is getting my calm because He's practically carrying our whole group at the moment. didn't think past Kruznik would be able to catch up and be like one boss behind us. Oh yeah, back then. But then again, back then we had two tanks for this whole endeavor. Now for the fun to begin.
many people are gonna die to this because of getting greedy. There go five right there. Let's fast forward, shall we? Going up. We got some new, uh, <sighs> and of course, they don't fucking. Now we get to actually, you know, be in the fight. We lost the samurai. Okay, and last leg of the race. I love how I wiggle my ears. All right, let's roll on some loot. And there's Fruit Loops Commendation. They practically carried the damn thing. I 
All right, let's get out of here. Oh wait, we can't get out of here because someone hasn't rolled on the damn loot. There we go. And I got all the loot and a player commendation for no reason. Oh, there, Chris. Very impressive, I must say. Your name shall be written large in the volumes that are sure to be penned on this historic expedition. The scale of destruction defies comprehension. Someone plainly thought bigger was better. According to the findings of my Baldessian colleagues, the Crystal Tower was constructed to collect and store the endless energies of the sun. A characteristically ambitious undertaking. Now, what of the tower's inner defenses? Judging by your haggard expression, clearing out the labyrinth was no small feat. Yeah, I died once. A giant of a man wielding a simmering, shimmering scimitar, you say? Yes, that will have been Phlegathon. Not Archeron. Phlegathon. He was a hero of the Allegan Re Revolution. And you glean that from what exactly? His choice of weapon? Well, I am a historian. And I have a certain, shall we say... Affinity for the law of the Allegan Empire. It is, of course, all knowledge gleaned from musty scrolls and tomes. The ancient texts claim that a cri the Crystal Tower is defended by the Champions of Eld, resurrected and augmented through the Allegan's extraordinary technology. Hold up, before we continue, I do want to come back to this line, actually. The giant of a man wielding a si shimmering scimitar here how he says it will have been phlegathon not archeron um back in 2.1 the final boss of labyrinth of the ancients was named archeron it was then changed in 2.3 when uh, Circus Tower came about and Phlegathon was and Archeron became the enemies in or the mob enemies in Circus Tower. <clears throat> anyway. Chief, you need to see that. If you need to see this. Well, well, there it is. The foot of the tower. What surprises do you have in store for us, I wonder? I can't tell you how glad I am to have you with us on this little jaunt, old friend. Had you not beating a path through that maze, I very much doubt we'd be standing here now. Well, we have much to discuss and digest. Let us retire to St. Coinox Fine for the present, and there plan our next step. Lest there be any doubt, our expedition has some way to go yet. All right. Now, 
cannot go here because can't fly either. Is there anyone online? Just Satsu. Let's expedite this little expedition, shall we? Can't believe I ran there. So good of you to join us, Chris. Our meeting would be dull indeed without a full account of your experience in the labyrinth. Take a moment to collect yourself. When you're ready, we shall debate how best to proceed. Let's do it. The Fellowship of Noah being accounted for, it is time this assembly was called to order. Rambrose will be presiding over the meeting. If you would be so kind as to inform him of your readiness to proceed, Welcome back, Chris. I've just been reading about your encounter in the Labyrinth of the Ancients. It pleases me greatly to know that you have seen that you seem none the worse for the experience. For your reference, I have added my own notes to Graha's preliminary expedition report and begun compiling a Crystal Tower survey log. The information contained therein will be available to you at all times. If you have any questions, you can only ask. Now, if there are no objections. I shall begin with a summary of the expedition's key accomplishments. In the course of this, our first foray into the grounds of the Crystal Tower, we succeeded in neutralizing the structure's outer defenses before proceeding to secure the maze surrounding the base of the spire. According to Chris's account, the Labyrinth's defenses were most emphatically active. Disturbingly, his report also mentions a violent encounter with a sentry heavily augmented by Allegan technology. In short, our misgivings were well-founded. The Crystal Tower was not simply thrust above ground by the chaotic shifting of Earth. It has somehow been reawoken. If, as seems increasingly likely, the tower's defenses should prove too dangerous to share with the world, we will have no choice but to contain them. Short of leveling the place, this will almost certainly involve returning them, its mechanisms to a state of dormancy. To that, however, we will first need to address the question of how they work. The answer to which must surely be waiting for us inside the tower itself. In conclusion, that is where we must go. A task rather easier said than done, if the present perils of the labyrinth are any indication. I move that all further exploration of the tower be delayed, till such time as an exhaustive analysis of the structure's defenses have been completed. As a Garlin, may I entrust this task to you? It would be my pleasure. Don't forget about us! Like I said, Chief, we founded the Ironworks to make sure that technology was used for the right reasons. And that means making sure it's not used for the wrong one. We wouldn't be doing our jobs if we didn't see this through to the end. Lads. Well, I hope you're ready for some backbreaking chores. Well, everything seems to be in hand here, so I shall take my leave of you for the present. If I am to witness this valiant tale unfold with mine own eyes, I must needs hone my martial skills ere we ascend the spire. You'll do nothing of the sort, Graha. Your knowledge may prove useful to Master Garland's investigation. As an observer, I am not, strictly speaking, subject to your authority. Pray, do not mistake my intent, Chris. 
I am well aware that I shall never be a match for one with your innate talents. However hard I train, be that as it may, pray do not allow your skills to rust from disuse during the coming pause. We will need you fighting fit if our subsequent forays are to prove as productive as this one. Mark me. We have not yet caught more than we the briefest, the briefest glimpse of that which time has obscured. Soon, however, we shall cast off the veil and gaze upon the glory of the Allegan Empire. And with that encouraging thought in mind, it's time to bring this assembly to a close. Let us all focus on the task at hand, and our next expedition may begin all the sooner. Meeting adjourned! Simple enough. Ah, this guy. Such a terrible mess. Yet it does leave the door wide open, so to speak. One cannot help but be impressed. I'm beginning to understand the reliance you place on adventurers, old friend. So, this is the legacy the Allegan Empire left behind. If my readings are correct, the energy source waiting atop the tower is a match eat for even the Ultima weapon. Nay, more than a match. <laughs> a new toy for me to play with. And as we all knew, it's none other than Nero. I believe the fates had conspired to deny me my just rewards once again. But it would seem they had a greater destiny in mind. And so long as my ambition burns, I shall strive to seize it. The dream lives on, see. Do not disappoint me. And with that, part one of the Crystal Tower Saga is at an end. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and we will return with more. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned. If you are watching on YouTube, here are all the links provided to get you where you need to go. See you in a bit.